Welcome to my Secret Place Devotion with Oyix Alfred. The Word of God is alive and equipped to change your life. Good morning. Are you struggling with your prayer life? Maybe you desire to pray, but on a daily basis, you find out that you really skip your prayers. Or even when you pray, you're not making contact with God. You know, it's just dry and empty. Well, the Bible talks to us about the spirit of prayer prayer in Zechariah chapter 12 verse 10 it enables a man to pray it quickens a man to pray and ensures that your prayer is robust and you receive refreshing from the lord father thank you for today and lord i ask for a release of the spirit of prayer upon your people you promise that you pour it out upon the family of david and upon the people of jerusalem lord we are your children's spiritual jerusalem lord so we receive the spirit of prayer as a rest upon each and every one of us listening today in jesus name amen you know there are different types of relationship with the lord if you follow that devotional we've emphasized this a lot this month that you can actually be a child of god that's one type of relationship you can be a servant of the lord is another type of relationship you can be a child and not be a servant you can be the bride of christ you can be a friend of god the thing about all these relationships is that you can actually be one without being the other so what we've done this entire month is try to show you from the scriptures how to be in any one of these relationships with the lord and all of them have indices they are indices of being a child of God, which is quite different from the indices of being a servant of God, which is quite different from the indices of being, you know, a person in covenant with the Lord. But you know, of all these wonderful relationships, there is one type of relationship that is a bit unbelievable, but yet it is such an honor. When I was studying the scriptures and looking at this relationship, I was like, Lord, wow, this is huge. What type of relationship are we referring to? I'm talking about being a partner with God. Christ. First Corinthians 3 9 says, For we are co workers in God's service. You are God's field and God's building. But I like the way um, King James puts it. I just read from NIV. But King James said, For we are laborers together with God. In other words, we are partners with God in this thing. I mean, it is huge to be called a partner with the Lord. You know how it is if you get into partnership with a company that is, you know, much bigger and wealthy and richer and has more network than you. You know what it means to the smaller company that they are partnering with? It immediately moves them up to a whole new level. That is what the Lord has done. Apart from the fact that he's the Lord of the harvest, the Bible says that we are co-laborers with him. If you read um, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1, it says, as God's co-workers we urge you not to receive the grace of god in vain if you read nlt version of that same second corinthians 6 1 it says as god's partners we beg you not to accept this marvelous gift of god's kindness and then ignore it so the bible calls us partners with god i mean this is huge how are you or how do you become a partner with the lord this big great god that made the heavens and the earth he didn't need our help in making the heavens and the earth he still doesn't need our help in making the heavens and the earth but the bible says that we are his partners if you read again in mark chapter 16 verse 20 it repeats the same thing it said then the disciples went out preached everywhere the lord walked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it so you see how do you partner with the lord it is when you are on the same mission that the lord is so jesus is on the mission field mission field means that he is everywhere that the name of jesus needs to be preached and exalted so he's on the mission field if you will join jesus to be the the one that is advancing his kingdom by preaching to men, by doing all the things that the Lord has said we should do in terms of service. You are not just walking in the field. You are actually a partner of the Lord Jesus. So this is how the division of labor is because, you know, in this partnership, there's division of labor. So Jesus is the unseen partner. We are the seen partner. We are the visible partner in this relationship. So when we go to preach to people, what happens is that, you know, people see us, but really we are not the ones doing this work. There is is the unseen person that is walking behind the scene. Now, this is very clear in Acts 15 verse 4 about the unseen partnership. It says, And when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and the elders, and they declared all the things that God had done with them. But New Living Translation puts it better. He says, When they arrived in Jerusalem, Barnabas and Paul were welcomed by the whole church, including the apostles and elders. They reported everything that God had done through them. So when you are preaching the gospel, when you're talking about your faith in the Lord Jesus, 
people might see you. But the Bible is telling us here that the Lord is walking through you. He's one speaking through you. He's one responding to those things through you. That's why you shouldn't be afraid of going to preach the gospel. There is partnership in this thing you can't do it alone that's why they call it witnessing how do you witness about something you were not there you were not there when jesus died you were not there when he went to hell you were not there when he went to heaven so the only way you can be a true witness is you allow the one that was there when all these things were happening to be the one speaking through you that's the holy spirit so every time you're going to preach the gospel recognize that you are in partnership with the lord you are his partner he's the unseen personality that should give you a lot of confidence and as a partner god doesn't just function with you on the mission field and function with you when you're preaching everywhere you go he'll be there because you know god is not unfair he won't say okay you know what i'm only going to partner with you when you're preaching but you know in your daily activities you know you're flying in the plane the partner is there at work your partner is there at school your partner is there remember that you are a co-partner you are a co-laborer with the lord meaning also you can't just take decisions on your own you have to constantly confer with your partner remember even though we are partners there is a senior in this thing so jesus is the senior partner but we are junior partners in this thing remember partnership with the lord but guess what you can be a child of god and not be a partner of the lord how because all you do is just go to church. You are not preaching the gospel. What are you partnering with the Lord for? You are just his child. You need to transit from being a child to becoming a partner. Do you know you can be a servant of God and not be a partner of God? Why? Servant of God, you are just serving. But you are not consulting a partner to say, okay, what do we need to do today? Where should we go to tomorrow? And again, your motive has to be right if you're really going to partner with the Lord. So you see, if you're a servant of God and you're serving and you're not serving with the right motive, you're doing it for men to see you or recognize you to get money or whatever funny reasons people have for service to the lord at that point you are not his partner because partnership means they have the same motive they have the same drive and all of that so if you really want to be a partner with the lord you have to be on the mission field doing exactly what your partner is doing number one number two you must have the right motive you must have the right attitude so that that partnership can work because it's division if you have a different motive and the lord your partner has a different motive so once your motives are right it's no more division it is vision and the most beautiful thing is that god doesn't just partner with you on the mission field every aspect of life god is interested in every area of being a partner recently i had to make a meal and the holy spirit told me i couldn't believe it he shared with me okay you know what add this first add this second add this third but that's not the normal recipe but when i did that it turned out well and i was like wow holy spirit so you're even interested in basic he said yes everything about your life i am interested in it i'm not an unfair partner you labor in the vineyard why won't i labor in the things that concern you he said we are partners 100 percent of the time that is huge so i encourage you to become a partner with the lord in this thing and so with that i remind you about night of power it is today it's starting 5 p.m gmt plus one and um of course today 24th and tomorrow 25th the number to call is plus two three four eight zero six six seven one zero four five two if you want to make an inquiry if you want to join online on instagram or yixar fred on youtube oak house and life edge is a handle for the mixler don't miss it will be a powerful edition god bless you For other life-changing messages, you can now download the app Rev Oyik Speaks from Play Store for Android phone users or Apple Store for iOS users. You can also follow us on Instagram, YouTube and Telegram, all on the handle Oyik's Alfred. Of God is here. We declare. Here comes. Hey, my, my, my.